All right, first D, PF, of course. And we're going to start from the left-hand side and show the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and write down the left-hand side again. e to the x times e to the y. Now, what's the series for e to the x? Well, that's the series. And it goes from 0 to infinity. And we will have x to the nth power divided by a factorial. Of course, that's on my back already. Now, for e to the y, that will be another thing. So make sure you don't use n again. Let's just multiply series, perhaps let's use k, equals 0 to infinity, and then we will have y to the k over k factorial. So that's what we have. But now the main question is, how do we multiply power series? Hmm. And by the way, let me just show you guys that this is where we want to end, right? In another word, we want to end up this times that and get us uh, this is the final stage that we want. Series, let's say n goes from 0 to infinity. x plus y is the input, so we will have x plus y to the nth power over n factorial. We want to go from here to here. So we are now using the rule of exponents, right? We're proving the rule of exponents, so can I just say, just add the exponents. Now, how do we multiply two infinite series? We can use the Cauchy product. So here is the deal. Let me write that down for you guys. Suppose we have two infinite series. Let's say n goes from 0 to infinity. For the first one, let's say a n times another one. Let's say we have the series. k goes from 0 to infinity. Let's say b k. Of course, I can just write down the formula for you guys. But let's investigate this a little bit. This means we will just have plugging 0 into n and then 1, 2, 3, and so on, so on, so on, and then add them up. So we will have a0 plus a1 plus a2 plus dot, dot, dot. Likewise, this right here will give us b0 plus b1 plus b2 plus dot, dot, dot. And now let's multiply it out. Take this and multiply with all that, right? So we will get a0, b0, and then plus a0, b1, plus a0, b2, and so on, so on, so on. But this is just the first row, even though we have infinitely many terms already. We have the second row. Take this, multiply all that. So we have to add a1, b0, plus a1, b1, plus a1, b2, plus da, da, da. And of course, take a2 and multiply all that. So we will have a2, b0, plus a2, b1, plus a2, b2, and so on, so on, so on. And then right here, so on, so on, so on. Yeah, so now how can we combine these things? or we'll put it in a nice way. Well, here is the trick. You pay attention to the diagonal. You look at this like that. Here's the first one. Huh? Just This is the first one, right? Next, you look at this and that. I look at this and that. Have a look. We have a0, b1, and then a1, b0. And say, hmm, flip it, huh? Next, you look at this. Right, look at this. 0, 2, 1, 1, 2, 0. And do you notice that these little numbers, they will add up to be 2 if you're looking at this right here. And this is when n equals 2. It's like similar flavor with the Pascal's triangle. And of course, by the same logic, the next one will be these numbers will add up to be 3 and so on, so on, so on. Now, check this out. What we'll do is, we are going to start with a series, n goes from 0 to infinity. And then for the inside, you see, these are the things that we are really multiplying. So we have a and b. Take a look at this diagonal right here. I think it's the best among all we have. It's helpful to see the pattern. Starting from A, you have 0, 1, 2. And then B, just go down, right? So when we have A, we want to start with K. And then B, it will just be like the opposite. N minus K. So what exactly is happening? Well, here, you will have to set k to be 0 up to what? Up to 2, because as I said, this is the case when n is equal to 2. So we are going to just 
sum this up when k goes from 0 to n and that's the Cauchy Prada formula for infinite series and if you have done matrix multiplications then you should also know that hey it has similar flavor right and also uh, the binomial theorem it's also similar flavor so that's that now we are going to use the product to help us out to multiply that out with the power series so right here this is going to give us we will have the first series as n goes from 0 to infinity then we are going to have this right here which is series as k goes from 0 to n uh, 0 to n remember the inside here it's finite and then you will look for this times that they are multiplying just like what I showed you earlier so this and that we are going to have what a k so we'll replace all the n's with k because this is like our a n so x to the k's power over k factorial next b n minus k you just put n minus k into all the k's so you multiply y to the n minus k over n minus k factorial like so now this is wonderful why because I have a look at the bottom k factorial times n minus k factorial does that remind you of anything it should that's the binomial coefficient namely n choose k sometimes some people might write it as n c k like this but all in all this right here is n factorial over n minus k factorial times k factorial the bottom is already right here but we have to have the n factorial though so what do we do but don't worry if we're lagging the n factorial let's just come here and multiply n factorial but don't forget to just divide it by it right but instead of this summation it's the k world it's the running index k k goes from 0 to n so the n factorial doesn't matter you can put the n factorial right here inside or you can put it on outside right here i will do so right here we divide it by n factorial here so we have the one over n factorial right here okay hmm you know where to use this in fact i did this video a long time ago with the binomial theorem and also the trinomial theorem and all that stuff you really see this when we have x plus y raised to the nth power the binomial expansion this right here gives you n choose k times x to the nth power times y to the n minus k power but of course this is just one term you will have to sum this up when k goes from 0 to n that's the binomial theorem are we almost there yes even though notice that here we have k and here we have n minus k and i wrote this down but doesn't matter because x plus y to the nth power it's the same as y plus x to the nth power so you can just flip the row of x and y doesn't matter so keep this in mind because well actually i will erase that i will show you guys this this right here will give us we have the series as n goes from 0 to infinity and we have 1 over n factorial and then for the red part it's the series as k goes from 0 to n zero to n and then we have let's put down the coefficients right here n factorial over k factorial n minus k factorial and then this and that which is x to the k y to the n minus k and the red part is exactly that right the n choose k is exactly this again the index right here is kind of off but it's just how you write it or reverse the rule doesn't matter so ladies and gentlemen this right here will give us the series as n goes from zero to infinity we have one over n factorial right here and the red part is x plus y to the nth power just like that and now what is that 
Yes, that's exactly what we wanted. This is e raised to the x plus y power. Whew. So today we have shown that when we multiply x e to the x with e to the y, you just add the x and y together with power series. Very, very cool, isn't it?